I've always been inspired by the astronauts, you know, the, the real pilot hero pioneers of, of the next uh, frontier. I've always been inspired by people, particularly airline captains, who have faced tremendous ultimate emergency of a lifetime challenges and successfully dealt with them, like Captain Al Haynes of uh, United 232 in Sioux City, Iowa in July of 89 and others. Um, when I was a first officer, co-pilot, I flew with captains who were good, but some were better than others. And the ones who always inspired me and that I tried to, to, uh, to replicate were the ones who made it look easy, even when we all knew it wasn't. Because they were the ones who, when they came to work, brought a sense of care and uh, a sense of purpose. They remembered why we do what we do, for whom we do it, our passengers and crew, and that in spite of how commonplace and routines become, it isn't. We remembered that what we are doing when we go up on an airliner together is we're pushing a tube filled with people through the upper atmosphere, seven or eight miles above the earth at 80% of the speed of sound in a hostile environment with outside air pressure one quarter of that at the surface and outside temperatures to minus 70. And we must return it safely to the surface every time. And we do in this country alone, 28,000 times a day, 10.2 million times a year. We make it look easy, it is not, it's hard. It's hard to have that dedication every day when you show up to know that today might be the day when you're going to face some ultimate challenge and to be ready for it, never knowing when it would happen, where it would happen, or what it might be.